today I want to come and share with you my summer favorites. So we're actually getting into the fall now, but I wanted to share with you the things that I loved using the summer and hopefully you guys will love it too. And if you happen to live in a warm climate, then these items will probably be awesome for you year round. So let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is this hair. This has been my staple go-to hair all summer. It is a super, super cheap wig. I think it's only about $16 and that's because it's not like a full wig. It's actually a half wig, but I wear it as a full wig. So I pull it all the way up to the top of my head and have it sit like a full wig. But look at these curls. I kid you not, every single time I wear this wig out, I get compliments on how pretty the curls are. And the great thing is that it doesn't start off looking like this. It looks better with time. It gets a little more frizzy and that makes it look more realistic. So when you first get it, it's very, very like soft and curly, which is nice. But I love the fact that it switches into this. Okay, let's talk about makeup. So one product that I found this summer that has been a lifesaver for me because my skin is so oily. It's so unbelievably oily. And I found this product and it has helped me control my oil in ways I never even thought was possible. It's from Kat Von D and it's her blotting powder. I have it in the color Deep. So this is the darkest that they have, but it's a blotting powder, which is actually a powder that's used like if you are shiny throughout the day and you just blot the shine. But that's not how I use it. I use it as a setting powder. So I know a lot of you guys are big on like the powder, then the foundation, then the powder. And if you're one of those people, this product is awesome as like a primer because it really controls your oil. But if you don't do that, even as like your last powder on your face, it sets your makeup and it controls your oil. I have used this so many times in environments that I usually sweat up in, especially if I go out dancing. I usually have sweat just filled all over my face because I love to dance. With this product on, even though I still sweat, it doesn't move my makeup makeup still looks good at the end of the night which is incredible so i can't stop talking about how good this product is i love it it's the best setting powder i've ever used and it's great of course for the summer another makeup product i really liked is from tarte and it's the amazonian clay the amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation i've done a review already on this so if you want to watch exactly how it applies to the skin, just click the link below and watch that video. But this is a really nice powder for the face. In the summer, I stayed away from makeup as much as possible. I just noticed how beautiful and clear my skin looked in the summer when I wasn't wearing makeup every day. So on days that I wanted to have a little bit of coverage, I would put on this powder foundation. And it was great because with foundation, sometimes it's so heavy on the skin that when you're in the sun, it feels like it's melting. Sometimes my face feels itchy. I don't like that feeling. So having the powder foundation on was a lifesaver and my face felt like nothing was on it I had a little bit of coverage and it just looked really nice on so I have it in the color rich honey and I think that's the darkest color that they have so be sure to check it out if you're interested the last makeup product I have is from colored rain and it's this lipstick I'm actually wearing it right now and it's so beautiful it's in the color brown sugar and this is actually a lip gloss. Colored Rain does have a lot of really beautiful liquid lipsticks. I own a couple of them and they're excellent. But I was really impressed with their lip gloss. I'm not a huge gloss wearer, but when I do wear a lip gloss, it needs to be extremely pigmented like lipstick. And this one is. The color looks so beautiful on dark skin. Whenever I've worn this, I've gotten so many compliments. I even was one time doing my makeup while I was FaceTiming one of my girlfriends and she was like, uh-uh, stop. What is that lipstick? It's so beautiful and the color stays on your lips all day long. It's not sticky at all. I like the way that it goes on. The tip of the brush is like really flat and I love the way it goes on. So pretty. Depending on what you're wearing, sometimes it can look a little bit on the gray side, but if you use a really good lip liner, it all works out. Now, onto skincare. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then 
welcome and thank you for watching but for those of you who watch me all the time you know how much i love skincare skincare is so important to me for one i just like my face to be clear and two i like the rituals of skincare so i just wanted to share with you some of the products that i was using this summer that worked really well on my skin and i really loved all summer long i was washing my face with this and it's from lather and it's their blemish control cleansing gel an herbal cleanser for oily or acne prone skin and like I told you already my skin is oily I really like this cleanser it wasn't like one of those things that blew me away but I will say when I use this cleanser I didn't have as many breakouts as I normally do have I tend to get breakouts in this little area right here on my cheeks for whatever reason I'll get like one to two a month and in the summertime they were definitely reduced to like maybe once a month. I really only use this cleanser all summer long. It only has about this much left in it. It lathered up really nice. It doesn't really have too much of a scent. It's very reasonably priced. I really don't have anything else to say about it except for the fact that it was good. Now this product really made me happy this summer. It's from a company called Josh Rosenbrook and I was unfamiliar with this brand but I watched someone's Beauty Heroes video and I thought, huh, that looks interesting. What this is, is a face mist. It's called the Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Face Mist. And it starts off with aloe vera leaf juice, evening primrose oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E. The ingredient list on here is actually pretty impressive. They have some wonderful ingredients for your skin. I bought the sample size first because this is a high-end luxury brand and I wasn't really ready to commit to buying a whole bunch of expensive stuff. But one thing I do love in my skincare regimen is a very nice face mist. In the past, I've used one from May Lindstrom and I loved it. It was just way too expensive for me to be buying on a consistent basis. So when I found this one, I was really impressed. Number one, just how it sprays out. The actual mister on here is perfect. That is so important with face mist that it doesn't spray too much on your face and that it also comes out enough. But this is like the lightest, the lightest mist. And it smells so good. It has a very light kind of rosy scent. Very, very light. I love the moisture that this gave my face in the summer. After I washed my face, I just loved this mist it was the best part of my skincare routine i put it on and then i put on whatever oil right on it when my face is still a little bit damp and it just sucked all of the moisture into my face so i loved it so much and i ended up buying the full size bottle it is certified organic if any of you guys have used this product or anything else from josh rosenbrook please leave a comment and let me know what else to try so this next product has been talked about over and over and over on social media and i have never ever bought it because I just don't necessarily trust things that everyone says that they love because I'm just like but this summer I was down at Venice Beach and I walked into a pixie store and they said that this was their first physical store ever so we were really excited I was with my friend we were really excited we walked in and it was just like glorious it was beautiful they had so many different products but of course I was curious about this one so this is their toner it's called the glow tonic and I see it everywhere and I asked about the toner and what made me interested in it was the fact that it had glycolic acid in it it has 5% glycolic acid and it's supposed to be an exfoliating toner it starts off with water and then aloe vera juice and glycolic acid glycolic acid is excellent for removing any kind of like dead skin cells from your face and sometimes it's used in like chemical peels I've never used glycolic acid on my face it's not in any of my other skincare products but I was interested in trying it out on my face and I really like this product. For my skin, it definitely does a good job of helping to take off any excess oil or excess makeup that's left on my skin after I wash my face. Initially, it did burn my face a little bit. It definitely burned my face a little bit. I could feel the burning sensation, especially over my moles because I do have moles on my face. So I did feel that. But I did also notice that it took away some of the texture on my face and made it more smooth. I also noticed that it did help me with my natural glow, especially because I wasn't wearing makeup. So I was really able to see what my skincare products were doing, and it's an excellent product. We got the small size because we wanted to test it out and see how it worked, 
but now I'll go ahead and get the bigger size. So I am really happy that I got this one. This product is from Glossier and it is their sunscreen and it's pretty, it's actually done now, wow. Um, it's called the Invisible Shield. It has an SPF of 35 in it and I love the sunscreen. I did not used to wear sunscreen. I was one of those girls who just never thought I needed it, but I started having a lot of different issues going on with my skin and I realized this was missing for my skincare regimen. So I started wearing it and I love it because it's very transparent. When you put it on your face, it melts into my skin. I had no issues with breakouts using this product. There was no scent and my makeup went on really smooth with it being on my face. So those were all really important things to me. I also like the pump, it was really small. I love the packaging. It's very tiny, so it's easy to travel with, put it in your purse, whatever. This was an excellent product for me this summer and I do continue to still use it because now I wear it every day. Now this baby was awesome this summer. My mom bought this for me like two or three years ago and for whatever reason, I never threw it away. I just always felt like I didn't know how to use it. But this is from Victoria's Secret and it's called their Rockin' Body Shimmer Powder and it is a shimmer powder. So at the top of it, there's a brush and it opens up like that, how cute, right? And then the bottom holds all of the powder and it actually has a scent. Who would have thought? It actually smells good too. But the scent is very, it's very light. I really didn't even notice it until one day I was like, mm, that smells good. So what is this? Why do you need a shimmer powder in the summertime? Because it makes you glow, girl. It makes you glow. Let me show you. If you're wearing a tank top shirt like this, all you do is you would just take it and you would put it like on your collarbone and on the sides of your shoulders like this. Do you see how this one shines now and this one doesn't? Now we're glowing, baby. Now we're glowing. And now let's put some on our shoulders. See that glow? So now we have the face and the body glow. Needless to say, this was one of my favorite products this summer because it just allowed my body to glow. I hope that they still make this. I'll try to find a link and link it below. If you guys have other products that are very similar to this, then let me know. I just like that it's so easy to use. It doesn't get on my fingers because I don't like glitter on my fingers. And it's very finely milled. So even though there is a little bit of glitter, a little bit of glow, it's not the big kind of glitter that gets on people's clothes, that gets all over your face. It actually doesn't even move at all. And it's so subtle and so light, it just looks like your skin is glowing. Okay, so if you guys watch my minimalism video, then you know, you know, that I have cut down on my perfumes. So I buy one perfume per season, and in the summer, this summer, I wore this. And it's called Not A Perfume. Is from a brand called Juliet's Got a Gun, and this is their biggest um, perfume, not a perfume, even though she does have others. I have purchased mmm before. I got the small size of it. We'll talk about mmm another day. But not a perfume smells beautiful, and it was the perfect summertime perfume for me. The packaging is very subtle, very interesting packaging. It's just kind of like boring, I guess. The perfume only has one ingredient in it, and from what I read, this is the main or active um, kind of ingredient when you use fabric softeners. So it does have a very light, kind of um, comfortable smell. If you wanted to compare it to something that's already on the market, it smells a little bit like the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which I do not like. I do not like that perfume. I don't like the way it smells. It smells like baby powder. But this kind of reminds you of that without the part that doesn't smell good. It's very subtle. It's excellent for people who have allergies. And I wanna say that when I wore this perfume, I was blown away with the amount of compliments that I got. The way people complimented this perfume on me was very different than how they compliment other perfumes. It was like they couldn't stop talking about it. They couldn't stop smelling it. If it was a man that I gave a hug to or that smelled it on me, they were texting me after I left like, what was that perfume? So I know this perfume definitely left an impression on everyone who was able to smell it. One thing I will point out was that when I first bought the perfume, I bought the small size, the really small size, and it was extremely potent, it was strong, it was perfect. But when I bought this size, I did notice 
even though I will compliment the way it sprays, it sprays out like the most perfect mist. I don't know how they got that right. But even with that, it wasn't very strong. So I felt like I had to like layer this on like crazy just to be able to smell it. And I don't like that. So I wonder if the smaller perfume was just more potent for some reason than in the bigger bottle. I don't know if that happens sometimes, but I did notice that. That's the only complaint. Other than that, this is one of the most unique, interesting um, scents that I've ever worn, and I love it. Okay, now let's talk about fashion. This has been a big thing for me this summer, is finding out my personal style, figuring out what looks best on me, and just being really comfortable in my style. And we will talk about that in another video because I have a video just about that. But I did want to share some of my uh, fashion finds or fashion favorites this summer. I won't get into actual clothing, but um, let's talk accessories. First of all, I'm wearing one of these necklaces that I purchased from Graceful Med Boutique. This necklace is so beautiful to me. If you're able to look at it closely, it looks like the little sign, I don't even know what it's called, when you're in the hospital, your heart rate. That's what it looks like. And on the side, it has a little heart, which is so freaking cute. It definitely makes a statement when you're wearing it. People always want to know where you got it, what it is, what it means, and it's absolutely beautiful. I have it in two colors. I have this one in rose gold and I have one in gold, but I believe there's also a silver one. And it was actually started by a fellow YouTuber who's also one of my very good friends, God's Designs. And if you don't know who she is, please check out her channel because she has great content on her channel and she is a beautiful person with a wonderful spirit and she's a nurse. So this makes sense because she's a nurse and she does deal with people who are in the hospital. I also think it'd make a really good gift for someone. It's a really beautiful necklace and it's priced at a very reasonable rate. So please make sure you check it out. I will leave a link below to her channel as well as a link to be able to take a look at this necklace. Next, I have this watch. Woohoo! Yes, I know it looks so funky. Oh, the reason the tag is on is because I wanted to change the band today, but I was like, you know what? Let me film it before I change the band. So this watch is from Clues and Clues is a UK brand and they sell watches. I love their watches because they're very minimalistic and that is my style. I love that look. The one I have is in the smaller size. They do have a bigger face, but I have this really small face and you can change the bands like I said. So I had the gray band on all summer long and then now I'm changing to a black band, but it does look kind of unique having the two bands like that. I don't think it would look bad if you rocked it with two different colors. I just think it's a very cute watch. It's reasonably priced. It looks very classy, but it's not super expensive, so it is affordable. This summer, I got one for my mom that has a bigger face, and I got a smaller one for myself. And I do get a lot of people staring at it and asking about the brand because they maybe haven't seen it here, but they do sell it at some Nordstrom's because I've seen it there, but I ordered mine online. So this summer, I did vlog in August on my vlog channel. If you wanna check out my vlog channel, I'll leave a link below, but in the summer, I. I went to go get my first pair of like sunglasses that I've purchased. All the sunglasses I've bought in the past have been like $5, super cheapy, and they probably don't protect me from anything. I went down to Venice and went to this store, and the store is called Warby Parker, and I picked up these shades, and they are very cute kind of cat eye glasses, and the sides of it have a leopard print. So cute! And this is what they look like. I love the detailing because they have the leopard print at the top, but the bottom is gold. I've never really been an eyeglasses kind of girl, but I do love these glasses, and it did help me a lot in the summertime when I was out in the sun. It definitely protected my eyes and elevated my look. This brand is also awesome because they are reasonably priced, and that's really important to the brand. They wanted to make glasses that were really good quality, but also so that the average person could afford to buy them. So I do appreciate that. They also give a pair, I believe, to children who need glasses. I think for every pair you buy, they donate a pair. I'm not 100% sure if that's the organization that they give to, but they definitely do give back whenever you buy a pair of glasses. So that's also really important to me. And the last fashion item I have is this bag. And to me, it's so cute. It's just so tiny. It's from the brand Rebecca Minkoff and it's an olive color. It's very small and I like the fact that it's really petite and small because it's good for every day. But this gold strap makes it look kind of classy. It is suede, so you have to be careful with the 
with the texture because it is suede but this bag is so cute i love it i got it during the nordstrom anniversary sale and i'm moving into smaller purses i'm not so big on the big bags anymore so this was a great great summer find this summer i focused a lot on self-improvement and that's a lifelong journey for me but i did pick up a number of books this summer and the one that really got me going was this one right here and it's called the science of positivity okay i'm so sorry my camera cut off so i'm gonna just finish this video by using my phone i just wanted to say that that book has been so helpful to me this summer and being able to think about my thoughts identify the reasons behind my thoughts the book is very scientific and as a psychologist, there are concepts that I already knew about, but learning is a lifelong thing. And for me, it was helpful to be reminded of some of the things that are going on in the brain. And it was so helpful for myself and my own personal growth. I do plan on doing book reviews and reviewing that book specifically, but doing book reviews in the future on my vlog channel. So if you want to hear about my reviews on different books, then be sure to subscribe to that channel. I do also want to shout out everybody who watches my vlog channel and say thank you so much because I did beta this summer and I just loved all of the interaction that I had with the members of my vlog channel who watched my videos, who commented on my videos. You guys are so special to me and you made this summer really meaningful. So thank you guys so much. I love you so much. If you guys have any questions about anything in this video, if any of the products I've talked about in this video you've used, let me know how you liked it or if you didn't like it, let me know. If you have questions about anything, please let me know. And again, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys show me. You guys are just wonderful. And if you have any questions, like I said, let me know. If not, big kisses to you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love.